More Disc Golf presents you the PCS Sula Open presented by Innovar on the Vesset Disc Golf Park in Sula, Norway. Difficult names, I know. Okay, More Disc Golf is presenting the feature card and we have Blair Ern Aguson. Rated 10 uh, 17 from Iceland Reykjavik. Then we have Joran Kjellstein Lufal, rated 906 from Westens Norway. The best rated player of the round is Knut Valen Haaland. His, his rating is 1020 and he is from Alesund in Norway. And you know this guy, of course. He's Tordemund, a warrior among the free folk. No, his name is Christopher Heview, and he is a real Oslonian. Okie dokie, hole number one. Here we go. 132 meters, hyzer shot, reachable, but danger. On the left side, big OB field. On the right hand side, OB as well, but with a bailout fence. Let's see what the people are doing. I think Blair is on the box for this hole in the beginning. Okay, the wind is kind of up. Let's see. Okay, he's playing the cut roller, but not enough cut on the roll. The fence is stopping it in bounds. I think it should be an easy three. And now Jordan, I just try to say the first names properly. I don't know about any Norwegian or Scandinavian last names. He's playing the backhand too far right, but the fence saved it. So everything should be fine. Knut is up next. Nice reach back. Oh, the disc is burning out to the right, but yeah, landing in the fairway. Easy par. And now Christopher Hivu. <laughs> yes, he's um, a world star. He played um, many episodes in the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Look at him. Yes, he is coming right at the TV show, flexing it, uh, but not enough, I think, I think, oh yeah, mm, straight into the OB, <laughs> he's making a little, a little Viking raw, but yeah, he looks happy, everything is fine, oh, looks like Jordan slipped on his approach, rolled back from the fence, Difficult par. Misjudged line from Christopher as well. Outside the circle putt. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how his putting is. Knut with the forehand technique. Oh yeah, very smooth. Perfect. Right to the bucket. Easy par for the beginning. Everybody is loving it. Oh yeah, here's we see a patent pending throw right on the first hole. It's already looking kind of happy. Oh no. He overcooked it as well. Cut rolled a little bit. It's maybe circle edge. Makeable. Just a little approach from Jordan. Ooh, and look at this, this daring. He wants, he wants the par badly. Ah, oh, the bogey. Whew. Very close. Okay, it's not even circle edge. Maybe eight meters. Little low, but in. Always good to start around with a par. Christopher is focusing in the bucket, fist pump is up, double bogey, 
but sometimes you're happy when you make double bogey with a good putt. Par for Knut and bogey for Joran. Yes, yeah, Sula, um, the Vassett Disc Golf Park is one of the nicest, more beautiful disc golf venues you ever find on the planet. So if you have got the chance to travel there, do it. Hole number two, you see there's a new fence on the left hand side, looks a little bit like the bamboo hole from the USDGC, but it's only there to avoid the sneaky route to the basket. So the, T, uh, the course designer wants to make you play the tunnel shot. Two, three deep breaths from Blair. Nice. Very straight. Innova sponsored player from Iceland. He was known as the Wonder Wunderkind from Reykjavik. And he still is pretty good. Knud, oh, a little high. Tickling some branches and ah, that looks not puttable, but who knows? What do I know? Joran, can he keep it straight? Oh, he's. Oh, he's playing the hyzer through the tunnel shot. That's a very difficult attempt, but he's right there. Should be a birdie as well. Christopher, two, three arm swings, staring down the hole, miss release. I think it slipped out a little early, but he's safe and happy. That's all right. Just a little chip, a little hyzer chip. And right there. Beautiful. Knut is trying to putt this. Yeah, there was never enough height, nor on the on the disc, or not enough height in my in my thoughts to attempt this putt as well. Ooh, <laughs> almost a dropout, but now it stays in. Par. Very good. Yes, Christopher is. Uh, new player to the game he uh, joined the pdga last year and i don't know for l how long he is playing but he is um, rated 844 right now so yeah good chance to improve the rating at all times joran played the birdie his rating is 906 i believe knut cleans up his par <laughs> yeah, he can smile. No reason to be sad with a par. Okay, here we go. A lot of holes on the Vasset Disc Golf Park are straightforward. You have to hit a gap. If you don't hit the gap perfectly, you might end up and yeah, brush some leaves or tickle some branches. So, but reachable 126 meters and beautiful if you hit the line. Okay, Blair can easily reach this. Mm, yes, what I said, didn't hit the, oh no, and this is a hazard area, so Yes, he only threw once, but already has two on his scorecard. Your run, Mr. Cool. Nice glasses, I like those glasses. Let's see if they help. Cranking it out, full flex, and it's, yeah, nice. It's coming back. Maybe not a putt, but it's right there. Approval from Bona in the back. Knut, nice rip, but it turns 
away again. I think it's the same disc he used on hole number one. I don't know if it's the wind or if he just put a little too much juice on it. Now, two, three swings from Knut, X step, body movement, not in the hazard, I hope. Okay, no, well short of the hazard, so good throw for him in the middle of the fairway. But not too low. It's right there. Looking good. He's trying to pass save it. First bogey for Blair on the round. Knut is yeah, just pitching up. Okay. Now Jordan for the second birdie in the row little jiggle and not today I love the expressions in disc golfers faces when they concentrate come on do it yes so oh, again it tried to hop out it's amazing I don't know how how he makes this that it's always jiggling around very good par for Christopher Knut par as well he's the highest rated of the bunch right now I hope he can improve his rating on this tournament and Blair is going back to even playing the bogey even for the round more disc golf from Europe presenting you the Sula Open 2021 here we go a big sports field huge amounts of OB you know where the earth removing equipment is stand, standing there is OB as well so you can't be too too short you can't be too long you can be bailing out beautiful bail shot to the bail area I think it was a running track Knut he, he can go for it he has the distance oh, it's way too high okay no I think he played um, this shot the spike Kaiser on purpose Christopher doesn't have the distance to reach the goal. He puts some any on his disc and it's whew, <laughs> staying staying safe. He doesn't know. He didn't see it. Ah, yes. Okay, I think this is the same disc he had in his hand on hole number one, the roller, remember? I think yes. And the roller is coming. I think this is a you know a sidewinder. Beautiful roller disc. Stop, stop, not a B and Nobody knows. I think it's safe, but um, it was very close to roll out of bounds behind the fence. Okay. One thing with disc golf is you have to know your shots. This one was straight down the line, playing for four, happy, yes, okay, cross arm te technique, it's like, um, yes, he's, he's playing like, oh, I think that's too long, it's OB, but yes, he's playing like double G does, you know, crossing the arms have the power m developing from from the inside somehow. Um, not my recommendation, but some people just can do it much better that way. Okay, spiking Heiser again. Oh, beautiful mountains in the background. Stop. No. What a good shot that was. 
it just trickled out of bounds in the last couple of couple of seconds <laughs> and here you have the evidence it was windy oh the little ob stop huh. third shot went into the long ob okay Now Blair, here's some easy work to do. A little hyzer chip, check up. I think that's a birdie, man. Be happy. <laughs> Good shot. Okay. Okay, this is just chipping, but yes, have a look at the background beautiful fjord area oh a little high that was uh, not a very good approach but makeable pass saver from knut oh no that's heartbreaking such a good putt a little too high and it's difficult to hit a high basket high so you need to have some confidence to do this christopher for par Ah. <laughs> Very nice. Even short putts like this can be difficult. Well caught. Strong side. Knut is cleaning up his bogey. And Blair's disc is leaning against the concrete block. Easy birdie. This is how I like it. Nice. Okay, moving on to hole number five of round one Sula Open 2021 presented by More Disc Golf. This is, again, it's a pattern. You have to hit a gap out of the box to even get the chance to play par. This is a beautiful right turn, but the green is treacherous. You can't be short, otherwise you won't be able to putt because yeah, you might go swimming. Let's see what we can do. What's happening on hole number five, 170 meters. Okay, a wide rimmed disc in his hand. I think Blair is going for it. He has a very long arm. He, as I said, his um, his ape factor is absolutely perfect for long shots. Uh, it's fading out a little too early. <laughs> the young kids are is down by his distance. Okay, Jordan's still in the sunglass mood. I like it. No. Oh, that was absolute misfire. Not happy about it. Okay, this is a shot. You have to you have to make your disc turn to the right as a right-handed player. You need um, some degree of angle on the shot. And it was sponsored as well. I think it was an early release. No, it's fading out and there's a field right there. And he missed the goal as well. Especially if you not have a long arm, it's um, even more difficult to play this course. Okay, Knut didn't get much turn on it as well, but yes, he's safe. Nice scramble shot on the path. That's good. The path is going to be inbounds. Still a long ways to the basket, but at least you're safe. Yeah, burned it in the ground. Okay. 
Let's start with that again. Nice. Any line? No. Oh. Badum, badum. So, Knut with shot number three, counting the OB. As well, it's very difficult from from this situation to putt at all. You have you know uh, you, you have to know your angles. You have to know the speed control. Played well, and I don't know. I think is it OB? Couldn't see any in indication from here. I hope not. Yeah, just a chip up from your from your run, chip up as well from Knut. Yeah, I didn't expect anything else. It's so dangerous to run this putt. Okay, let's see. One, two, three throws. He's playing pass, so yes, he was OB actually indeed. Nude is playing the bogey. Yeah, but what a beautiful place. And there's even more treacherous greens coming on later on in this round. Just stay tuned, watch it all. And if you have the chance, watch the scenery. It's it's stunning. Sula is located on the sixth, uh, 62nd latitude which is only um, very close to the polar circle. The polar circle is on the 66th latitude, actually. Okay, hole number six. 122 meters over the fjord water. Yeah, for the power throwers, no big deal. The problem here is that the uh, steep slopes of the greens. So if you just hit a wrong angle on the drives or approaches, discs, will roll and yeah it's all about angle control it's all about speed control let's see and the wind is blasting in his head look at the flags beautiful little low i think <sighs> just hit the i think he's safe so he's putting for birdie okay this time the disc didn't turn away from Knut. He asked it to drop. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. You can play this hole as well if you don't have a, a big arm. You just play through the short corner across the lake. Yes. <laughs> Party on. Tormund. Okay, and Joran, he has the power. Cross arm technique. Ah, it's fading out a little early. Uh, no. Yeah, he has to move to the drop zone, place his third shot from the drop zone. Oh no, stop, stop, don't, oh, no. I don't know what to say, sometimes the same water eats your disc twice. For my test, too much, too much angle, but he played high enough, it's rolling back towards the basket, good one, five, six meters. Still difficult putting, but yeah, should be should be possible. Another hyzer. I didn't see it. Looks safe. Okay, now for birdie. Now the good players are up. Hmm. 
and it was the good side of the basket. Knut has a more difficult view because he knows if he misses by any chance, if he's airballing this putt, uh, it will be wet. Concentration. The level is high. The disc is in. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, should I take it out or not? Yes, you should take it out. Good one, Christopher. Triple bogey for Joran. And par cleanup for Blair. Yes, this is the first round of this exciting tournament. Um, no Euro Tour due to COVID this year. But um, yeah, I'm happy that the tournaments are still going on, going hard. Disc golf is growing worldwide. I think it's become a movement now. So thank you for joining us on this coverage for the 2021 Sula Open on the Vassett Disc Golf Park. Up to hole number seven. And we all need more disc golf. Par 4, 166 meters. Again, you have to hit a gap. And then you have to hit a second gap. And after the second gap, you have to find your way through to this little green, well protected by birch trees and by other uh, all sorts of bushes. Just beautiful, just very nice. Looks a little bit like um, the Lord of the Rings scenery. Okay, Knut plays it very nicely in bounds in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Everybody is looking such an ex exciting hole. Okay, here we go. Blair. Slipped, I think. Uh, the disc slipped a little bit early. He's not uh, happy. Let's see if he can scramble. Uh, Christopher knows what's up. It's very difficult. It's um, for his level of play. Um, a uh, highly complicated shot. Left it too early as well. Did he? I didn't see it in the end. Did he hit the, the house? The little hut there? I don't know. Okay, and Jordan. He's having his red flex disc in his hand. Is it flexing? Not enough. Not at all. Oh, that's in. In Scrambleville, I would say. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, but everybody is still fit. It's only hole number seven. Eleven more holes to play. Knut looks to be in a good spot. No bushes around. Fights through the tree. All right. Let's see if he can save the path from there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Blair can scramble as well. Looks like he has an overstable flex approach in his bag. Yes. Flexing bag. Nicely done. Yes, and here first thumber from Jordan. Ooh, well played. Let's see if he even can play the birdie from there. Airbound spike Kaiser from Knut. Looking good. And you see, this is program in on the Vassett Disc Golf Park as well. All the baskets are so difficult to attack because you have elevation, you have water, you have 
steep slopes. You, you really need to know what to do on each and every hole. Okay, didn't hit the gap, but <laughs> happy camping. Yes, Blair doesn't want to run it as well. Easy chip up, easy par. Good playing. Yeah, same for... Oh, don't roll. Stay there. Good play for Christopher. Par, birdie attempt. Easy par for Jordan. Nice. The only birdie of the group played by the highest rated player. Sounds like a program. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the rounds. Blair's at minus one. Knut, even par. But let's go to hole number eight. Only 80 meters, but at least five, six, seven meters up the hill. Um, it's difficult to, shot, uh, to shoot tunnel shots up the hill because you need some height to, to get the distance. And if you're too low, you might not get it. Oh, that looks too low. But it's skipping a couple of meters, so he has a putt, he's on the green. Yes, but of course you want a little more height without hitting the ceiling, because the ceiling gets lower and lower and lower as higher you get. Blair looks determined. Beautiful baby flex on his shot. I think he looks good. I don't know, he, he looks a little bummed out, but I thought it's a good shot. I don't know if it rolled back or what it did. Look at the focus. I love it. There you see the hole, it's intimidating. Ah, okay, He's he should be able to move on from there. And Jordan, oh no, oh, hit the little line, deflected right into the bush. Ui. Okay, sidearm, let's see how, I didn't see his sidearm yet. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's quite a comic, I like it. Okay. Sidearm from Joran as well. Okay. Oh no, stay up, stay up, stay up. I, I lost count a little bit. Um, ah. Yes, and then when you just throw it, you, you get up. It's sometimes if you concentrate like, like hell, you hit the first tree and then when you just chuck it up, it's perfect. Disc golf is, yeah, very interesting in this case. All, all sorts of things are happening and we don't know why. The aha moment. Okay. Knut for birdie. Yes. Well done. Circle edge putt, I would say. Nice. He's going one under par with this putt. Oh yeah, there's Blair. I think it was good drive. I mean, maybe it rolled to the to the right, but it didn't roll down the hill. Nice putt as well. Super good. 
Yes, you get some enthusiasm. Triple bogey for Christopher. Okay, coming to the last hole of the front nine coverage, post round coverage. Par four, 156 meters. Doesn't sound long. But it is around and around and around and around and around and it's coming a little bit back. I call those shots uh, boji shots because it's like um, driving a, a boat around a boji. Hitting the gap, the first gap, the second gap in the middle of the fairway. My guess is you want to be maybe 10-20 meters further to have an easy approach. But let's see what Blair is doing, hitting the gap as well, sit down, perfect. I think this is the absolute perfect position for the first drive. Jordan avoiding all the stuff, nice on the fairway as well. Christopher, a little early. I didn't see it finish. I don't know. Okay, he's on the side. Just swing. No, too low in the next bush. This is like really. <laughs> And again, it's um, he can't swing very well. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah, cut rolled it. Too much angle. This is like, um, yeah, to score well on this course, you have to be fairly experienced. On the other hand, it's good when you play those courses, you get very experienced. And <laughs> no, really, did he hit this little goal? Wow. What I said, this golf, anything can happen. A very high loft shot fading back parking perfect nice this is what I love it's like a MTA overall throw you know you have to put a lot of angle and waiting that this is coming back Blair's playing beautiful through the short gap Yes, and Knu, um, Christopher, maybe putting, but again, it's dangerous. The basket is sitting on a hillside. Oh, <laughs> nice OB steak love for, for Jordan. Wow. It's tough to try those putts because the OB is really behind the corner. Nice putt from Knut. Minus two for the front nine. Let's see if Blair can do it as well. Well done. Clutch putt for the last putt of the front nine. And now the bogey boys are... What's happening? Okay, easy. Christopher said, ah, oh, leave it. I can do it. Nice. And he makes it well done. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for the front nine coverage of the Sula Open 2021. Blair minus three, Knut minus two, Jordan plus nine, and Christopher plus 11 come back for the back nine 
we will be here, we will be presenting all sorts of coverage of the Sula Open in the next couple of days. Stay tuned, watch the show, support us, click the like button and I hope you click back again when we say Sula Open round two, three and the final. Good night everyone. Bye bye. This was Greg Marter from Berlin.